I would like to take this time to thank my subscribers for tuning in. Those who are new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button for further info and updates. Connection TV, the people's choice for hot topics. As you can see, we're going to be talking about political prisoner. Eon, attorney goes to court. Attorney Ramdeen is heading to the high court tonight with a emergency application seeking the order of having Crime Watch host Ian Allen discharged from the hospital. Ian was officially discharged after being hospitalized for 21 days, having tested positive for the C-19. He was given his discharge documents. However, he was told that the Caribbean Public Health Agency made an error with his results and he can no longer leave. Ian claimed he was then locked in a ward. In a telephone interview with the Express yesterday, Ian said the move to keep him detained at the hospital came after he did a Facebook Live telling the people of Trinidad and Tobago that he was discharged and he was coming out to be the voice again. After I went live, that is when they realized there was a mistake in the test. I have all my discharge forms to leave here and they do not want me to leave. They are holding me against my will. They have locked the doors and they don't want me to leave, he said. Ian said he believed he never tested positive in the first place and it was an attempt to shut him up. He said after he returned from Miami in March, he interacted with his family members, even shared the same food with his relatives and no family member contracted the disease. He said he got drenched in the rain and he had a cold and was cleared by his personal doctor. I was never positive. How come none of my family members, wife, son, sister, that I shared my lunch with, all my cousins, the people in the bank, nobody in the bank got it. They shut down the bank to divert attention and say I caused the corona to spread. Up to this, nobody I interacted with got the coronavirus, he said. He said since being hospitalized, it was on Monday, he said, he started to get on. I was quiet. I didn't do nothing. It's only Monday I started to get on and say, this is political. It's only when they came back and told me, the swab was negative. They came back today and told me the swab from yesterday was negative. Upon receiving my information, I was discharged, he said. He, he said he asked to stay till Wednesday morning to organize his security arrangements for his release. And this attempt by the hospital staff. However, things went away when. So he claiming right now, things went all crazy when he started to talk about on the live that he's coming back out to be the voice. So people are trying to answer me. Let me break this down a little bit. As you can see, there's a lot of craziness going on in Trinidad. And also, people need to understand, this is going on in America as well. That the government holds back and anybody that is speaking against what they are trying to spread out there. If all you notice, before this corona, the C-19 hit Trinidad and Tobago, Ian Allen was outside the country and he is now coming back into the country. And they know... Seeing as he has a talk show and he has a voice and a platform, if 
what they're trying to spread as what's going on. If he believed it is fake, they believe that he would have spoken out and said, listen, people should have to be good government trying this and trying that. And the government didn't want that. They didn't want a voice out there. They want to tell people whatever they want to tell you. But as soon as you become a voice against the government and the crime, in the first place of all, you really notice this country, I hate to say it, is the government fighting against other people that is standing up for this country. It seems like the government want the crime to go on. Because if you are government and you see people coming to you and saying, police commissioner coming and saying we need to fix this country and we need to do this to get the crime down. And as a country, you wouldn't even work with him to get the crime down. Then that shows that you want the crime to continue. So as Ian Allen is a voice trying to shut down crime as well, they don't want that because if you look, it's many times they arrested this man, it's many times they try to hold this man. And now they try to say he, he spread the, the, the C19 and all this. They're doing things to try to shut this man down. They try to get him out of the way by telling him he have it so that he had to detain himself. So during this matter, he wouldn't be outside to speak about anything. And the sad thing is, how much of it when this Passover, the C19, then they go let him back out. And if you have to talk about anything, it will be late news. So people you have to really watch what's going on in the country. The government themselves seems like they don't want the country to get better. Because if this man did a test twice and he's negative, his own personal doctor tell him he's good to go. Who are you to now come and say he has it? And the man still no, no, not tested positive. He let the man out, let the man do his thing. But they don't want that. They notice that they don't want him as a voice. It seems like it's a sabotage because they discharge him on Monday, right? And he asks to stay back a little longer so he can arrange his security. You never know if they discharge him for somebody out there to be waiting to do what he need to do. So, but seeing as he's saying, nah, I go on a Wednesday, I go uh, arrange my security and so on, so on, so on. They notice like, yo, this man is not that foolish, he's smart. And he's taking precautions well. So people are children and Tobago. I have to be very careful and also God give us a thing called a brain and a mind. And these things are, are, are there for us to use. So not everything you hear, you run with it. Always try to break down and differentiate what somebody tell you. If somebody come and tell you something, so and so and so and so, you look into that and find out if you believe that is what the person tell you is right. Because somebody can tell you anything. Somebody can tell you a lad in pass by your house on a carpet. And it's up to you to believe that or not. You have some people that go believe it. Oh, for real, you see a in. So people, you got to look into everything. This man is being held hostage by the country in this hospital. Because if, trust me, if he had it, everybody that he dealt with, interact with, family members, they would have it as well. That's how the virus is. The virus is very, is this claiming to be airborne. The virus lingers around on surfaces. So if you directly talk to somebody with a, trust me, they would have come down with some type of fever and something. I ain't saying the immune system wouldn't fight against the, the C19 and the immune system might be healthy enough to push it away. But somebody would have come up with something. Now that if the man say talk to his sister, his family member, his mother, whoever, and nobody have it. But all the claim he spread it. So who did he spread it to? Is the question. Thanks for tuning in with Trini Connection.
TV. Like and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button for further info and updates.